What's up guys and welcome sa aking channel. Nandito ang inyong lingkod na si Solverge para magpakita ng isang toy review. So itong nakikita niyo na figure is an SH Figure Arts, The Child of the Sun, Mask Rider Black RX. Yan, so itong figure na to ay nirelease noong 2009. So, itong si Mask Rider Black RX, kilalang kilala na mga tao to, especially mga batang 90s. So, itong si Mask Rider or Kamen Rider Black RX ay pinalabas sa Japan magmula October 1988 hanggang September 1989. And sa franchise, siya ang panghuli na nilabas na Mask Rider sa Showa era. Para just in case, if you see this figure in the market, at least may reference na kayo about this character. Para sa packaging ng figure na to, so let's have a quick look. So sa packaging ng figure na to, dito natin madaling ma-identify yung mga version 1 na nirelease ni SH Figure Arts. Like this one na Mask Rider Black RX. So sa harap ng packaging niya, makikita niyo yung name ng figure, descriptions about SH Figure Arts, Toei Company logo, Mask Rider or Kamen Rider Black RX logo, picture ni Mask Rider Black RX, and Bandai logo. So sa other side ang packaging ng figure na to, so isa-isay natin siya guys. So unahin natin yung upper side. Next naman is yung bottom. Next is yung left side niya. Then yung right side niya. So sa right side, same description lang yung nakalagay. And last, sa likod naman ng packaging ng figure na to, so makikita niyo yung mga weapons, accessories, and posability na naio-offer ng figure na to. So makikita niyo rin yung SH Figures logo and Tamashi Nations logo. Ngayon na naipakita ko na yung packaging ng figure na to, bali next naman natin na gagawin is i-unbox na natin to. So ipapakita na natin yung SH Figures Mask Rider Black RX. So tara, proceed na tayo. Yan, balit yung itsura ng SH Figures Mask Rider Black RX. So kung titignan natin yung details ng figure na to, sa scalp and sa paint job niya, for me okay yung pagkakagawa sa kanya ni Tamashi Nations. And yung naging paborito kong details na ino-offer ng figure na to, so una is yung sa mata niya, pangalawa is yung RX logo niya, and last is yung sa belt niya. So maganda yung details na kinalabasan on this figure. And kahit na version 1 or lumang release itong figure na to, may in love ka pa rin sa figure na to. Especially if you're a Kamen Rider Black RX fan, this figure is a must buy and a great addition sa iyong collection. For the weapons and accessories of this figure, so ito yung makukuha nyo guys. So una is itong anim na hands and last is itong signature weapon ni Mask Rider Black RX na Revol Cane. So question Silverge. Ito bang mga accessories na nabanggit mo? Is ito na ba yung complete set for Mask Rider Black RX? Well, the answer is hindi. Incomplete pa yan. So if you want to complete the accessories of this figure, you must purchase the SH Figures Acrobatter. So si Tamashi Nations, dalawang beses sila nag-release ng Acrobatter. So una is itong version 1 na Acrobatter and last is yung renewal version na Acrobatter. So alin man dyan na makuha mo, renewal man or itong version 1, compatible pa rin yan para sa version 1 na SH Figures Mask Rider Black RX. So gagastos ka talaga if you're a kind of a collector na completis ka sa mga figures mo. Pero kahit na magastos yan, maganda naman na magiging resulta. Especially kapag gagawa ka ng Kamen Rider posing or photographies. So ito yung mga weapons and accessories na kasama sa SH Figures Mask Rider Black RX. For the articulations of this figure, so kung titignan natin yung bawat parts niya, so if you're talking about posability and articulation, nasa kanya na yun. 
kasi dahil na rin sa mga nilagay na parts ni Tamashinations on this figure. Kaya lang meron lang dito sa part ng figure na to na may limited yung movement. So yun ay yung head part niya. Kasi kapag ginalaw natin yung head part, so hindi siya kasing flexible ng ibang parts. So limited lang yung movements na magagawa niya. Pero kahit na ganoon na may limited movement sa head part ng figure na to, maganda naman yung magiging suporta ng ibang parts na nilagay ni Tamashi Nations on this. So ito yung mga sample kong picture guys na patunay that this figure will perform well. Para naman sa issue na may encounter mo on this figure is yung mga masela na parts niya. So isa-isa natin siya guys. So una is itong part na to. So kapag ginawa ka mo yung part na yan, malambot siya. So extra careful lang on that part para maiwasan na masira. Next naman is yung RX logo. So kapag tinignan natin yung RX logo, painted yan. So iwasan nyo lang na makaskas to para maiwasan na mawala yung logo. So sayang naman yung details na nilagay ni Tamashi Nations on the RX logo of this figure. And last is yung mga joints. So sa joints hindi na bago sa SH figures yan na nagkaka-issue sila sa breakage ng parts ng joints dahil na rin sa mismanagement ng isang collector or due to over articulation. So since this one is a version 1.0, For me, may own opinion, uh, talagang may ilang kang i-articulate itong figure na to dahil napakapayat ang pangangatawan niya. Kaya for those collectors na meron netong figure na to, extra careful lang on handling this figure especially kapag gagawa ka ng posing or photographies para maiwasan na masira tong figure na to at para hindi masayang yung investment mo on this figure. So let's talk about recommendations. So question Silverge! Besides this SH Figures na version 1 na Mask Rider Black RX, may iba ka pa bang may rekomenda? Well, the answer is yes, meron. So if you don't want this figure, you can go for SH Figures na renewal version na Mask Rider Black RX. So kung titignan natin yung renewal version against dito sa version 1, ang laki ng difference. So isa-isayin natin siya, guys. So una is yung pangangatawan. So sa katawan, mas malapad yung katawan ng renewal version against dito sa version 1. Pangalawa, sa details. So sa details, for me, mas maganda yung details na nai-offer ng renewal version against dito sa version 1. Pangatlo, sa gimmicks, sa accessories, and sa weapons. So para dun sa tatlong kategoryang yon mas kompleto sa recados yung nai-offer ng renewal version against dito sa version 1. And last, sa price range. So kapag tinignan natin yung price range ng renewal version, ang estimated price range niyan is around 2,000 to 2,500 pesos. Habang dito sa Mask Rider Black RX na version 1, ang estimated price range niyan is around 1,800 to 2,400 pesos. Kaya anin man dyan ang makuha mo, it's your choice. If you're going to go with this renewal version na SH Figures na Mask Rider Black RX or if you're going to go with this version 1 na Mask Rider Black RX na SH Figures. Kung ayaw mo na itong SH Figures na version 1 at yung renewal version at ang inahanap mo na Kamen Rider Black or Mask Rider Black RX is mas matangkad at kakaiba yung details na na offer well ito, may re-recommenda pa ako para sa'yo. Go for SIC or Super Imaginative Chogokin na Mask Rider Black RX. So kung titignan natin yung SIC, ang mga size ng mga SIC are around 7 inches tall figures. And para naman sa details ng SIC na Mask Rider Black RX, maganda rin yung details na nai-offer niyan. Kaya lang, if you're a type of a collector na ang inahanap mong details is katulad na napapanood mo sa Mask Rider or Kamen Rider Black RX, yung SIC is not the figure that you're looking for. So it's very obvious from the details itself na hindi siya pareho doon sa napapanood mo na Mask Rider Black RX. And last, sa price range. So kapag tinignan natin tong Mask Rider Black RX na SIC sa merkado, ang estimated price range niyan are around 2,500 to 3,000 pesos. Kaya for me, in my own opinion, na tulad ng sinasabi ko sa mga previous ko na ginawa na Kamen Rider toy reviews, alin man dyan na makuha mo sa tatlong nabanggit ko, 
SIC Man, Renewal Version, or itong Version 1 na SH Figures. For me, win-win situation yan para sa'yo. Lalo na if you're a type of a collector na ang ini-aim mo lang naman is yung character na napapanood mo sa Kamen Rider Black RX. Kaya you have many options on what type of Kamen Rider or Mask Rider Black RX are you going to collect. If you're going to go with this SIC, if you're going to go with this renewal version, or if you're going to go with this figure na nakikita niyo sa video na SH Figure Arts, Kamen Rider Black RX! So that's it! I hope na itong review na to is nakatulong sa inyo sa inyong hobby needs. For more updates and reviews, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Verge Kevin Amali, and also you can follow my Facebook page, Silverge Toys and Gun to Family, para maging updated kayo sa mga susunod ko pang gagawing toys or gun reviews. So hanggang dito na lang tayo guys. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nanood. Happy collecting and God bless. See you next time. Hey shit!